It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. High 30s, almost 40 probably today. Sun is out, no rain. I'm headed to the cave. Last spin of 2014 at the cave. Now our buddy Big John, he went to the land of Nada yesterday. Cold, blowing, raining. He said, thank God for Gore-Tex. <laughs> Anyway, he did pretty good in the land of Nada yesterday. He did, uh, I don't know, I didn't count all the quarters, but he had a lot of quarters, a lot of change, uh, some bling stuff, and a really nice little silver chain cross, uh, a cross on a silver chain, I should say. I'll show you a picture of it, you know, to be at the back of this video. I called the chain man, figured he was ready to go, but he's ready, but he's trapped at home. Can't do it, some stuff he can't get out of. So it's just me. I guess the guru is still laid up. I didn't call him, so I don't know. John's at the land of Nada again this morning. He sent me an email said he was going down around 7.30. It's a uh, shade. It's uh, 10, 10.30 or so right now. Tide's low right now. I'm going to be there right at low tide. We'll uh, see how it goes when we get there. Stand by. I think I'm going to take the style of the day with the uh, 3 8 inch holes, or I forget what size he calls them. In case there's a 22's around and small marbles. One of my marbles fell through the holes in my titanium scoop the other day. That blue marble if you remember. So I'm going to leave her in the truck. I got my kayak dry top. Of course it's inside out right now. That's the rubber neck. It's got rubber sleeves. My gears right there and my seven millimeter bare mittens. These are nice. For y'all who don't use them. Better than dive gloves. Better than gauntlets. Etc. etc. Stand by. Let's get this stuff on. It's really nice here today. Tide looks good. Outer bar, uh, like I said, I'm right here at a little past low tide now, so it may have been dried out. I don't know. I don't see any looters anywhere, so I guess it's just me. Stand by. Okay, the last spin of the year. The cave. Beautiful day. See if there's any treasure all around. Well, we got our first target, the 1228. That could be anything here with all this iron. Let's see if we can find what a 1228 is. I don't think we got it. All I see is rock. Go back and take another piece. Well, I don't hear it in the hole. See if I see it in the scoop up. Stand by a minute. Well, it looks like the back end of a light bulb or something like that. I can't tell what it is. But it's nothing of any value, I don't think. We'll check it out later. Shut off, baby. We 
got a strong 1217 right here. I mean, a nice sound. I said it pulled that 1217, you know. But it's a nice sound right there. We didn't get it on the first two. We gotta check see if we got any marbles there. Always check to look for marbles. Oh, we got it. Let's see what it is. So far, I see nothing. Could have been a 22, but they come in a little teeny bit higher. Let's go back in the hole. And we still got it. Stand by while I look around a little bit. Damn the bad luck. Here we got a screechy loud 45, like a quarter sound, 45. Second scoop. I say nothing. It looks like a 45 sound, I mean. There's no kind of metal at all in my scoop. Look, look at that. Ticky blanks. I've never had a 45 sound ever fall through my scoop. So I don't know what to think now. Let's go back and see if we can find it. There it is, 45 meter set. That's the problem with these mine labs. Sometimes when you disturb the fast sound, when you go back and look for it again, it disappears. But it's usually in the hole. Don't ask me why that happens, I don't know. It just happens. Well, we got some big money anyway. That's like 23 cent more we had last time. Hadn't found a ring since the 2nd of December. Hey, John stopped by on the way home from the land of Nottam with a titanium. He said number 70 yes, on his sir. bucket list. A pretty ring for titanium. They make nice rings, that's the way they do. Yeah, for a wearing ring, it's, it's Yeah. Good. I didn't know you had a dry suit. Where'd you get that at? That's pretty nice. Yeah, I saw uh, Bobby's. Oh, yeah. And said that's the way to go. Have you tried it out here yet? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's nice, huh? No, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, I got the same thing, but it's just a top one, you know? That's why Gore-Tex, yeah, I mean, you can wear whatever you need. Well, I know you said Gore-Tex, but I wasn't sure if you meant that or a jacket or what you were talking about yeah. when you said it. No, it's, you what can you wear see? as little as you want and as much as you want. See. How much does it cost? Four or five hundred? Uh, <laughs> seven or eight hundred? A couple times that. Yeah? Damn. Yeah, I, I got a reasonable deal. Well, it doesn't make a difference as long as you stay warm, I can tell you. Yeah. No, they, I think this one, they have a retail outlet that's uh, with the liner. Yeah. It's like twelve hundred, twelve fifty. Yeah. You ain't gonna believe what I just found. <laughs> I 
I said, damn, that looks like a money clip or something. Well, if you turn it over, you can see it is a money clip, and it's got some old money still in it right there. You can see the remnants of the dollar bills and all right there. Now that's cool right there. Look at that. Uh oh, god damn the neighborhood. Here's my French for cussing. God knows. I don't want to wash any more of the money behind it. <laughs> I better find it or it can't, couldn't have gone far. I can see it, I just can't scoop it up. Damn the bad luck. There it is. Come out of there, you little Paquito. Got it, finally. Still got some of the money in there. You can still see it. See it? Stand by, I'll put it in my pouch, I hope. If I can get this thing to turn off. I just thought about something. I got this modular hooked up to my headphones. If I unplug it, you can hear what I'm hearing. This is a this iron. Listen, listen to this iron in here. This is what I listen to two or three hours a day in here. You gotta be real careful. Just to pick out the good target. All that low stuff is iron. <laughs> That's some nice stuff to listen to, ain't it? You listen to that for four hours a day, man, you go home with the mumbles. You gotta get lucky. I dig a lot of holes sometimes. Stand by. got a really old looking chain right there. Can you see it in all the rocks? It's just barely visible. I want to have to take it up here on the beach and dump it out because I got these gloves on. I can't get it out of these rocks. Stand by a second. There it is. It's even got a doodad thing on it, look. 
a gold leaf or something. Well, feather or some damn thing. Maybe that's gold. Maybe I found gold. Looks gold. Be nice to close the New Year, New Year out with a piece of gold. We'll have to get a closer examination when we get back to the truck. Stand by. Well, starting to breeze up a little bit with the tide coming in. We're going to end the 2014 right here at the cave. Not a bad day, especially if that little gold thing is gold. If it's not, it's okay. That money clip is really cool. Okay. Happy New Year, everybody. Might see you tomorrow. The forecast is not very good for tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Start the New Year off hunting. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. Well, I just got my stuff washed off. Getting ready for the roundup. I, uh, I got that stuff inside. The clip I should say and it's got a lot of damn money in it I didn't think it had any money I thought it was just remnants but apparently the case was made out of I mean the case the uh, money clip was leather it's got a Buddha looking picture of the metal part and I got it all separated I don't think I got it all separated but I got some of it separated it's drying out now I can see a 50, I can see a 20, I can see some 1's, no telling what's in there. Carnivores! You carnivores hungry? Yeah, look at this, it's amazing. There's Buddha. I want to clean Booter up a little bit. I'll give you what's on the back of it too. It's got a name where it was made. But right there, where is it? There's a $50 bill. And there's a $20 bill. No telling what's in this pile of stuff. We got them up there. <laughs> Amazing end of the year fine the little uh, chain has got like a string that runs through it like holds it together it's the chain inside a string or around a string but I can't find any marks on this baby you would think as long as it's been there it would stay like it is it should be gold but I can't prove it interesting anyway Stand by. All right, we're round up. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Stand by. Okay, now we're round up. I forgot the money clip itself. Three quarters, two pennies. And this thing, in the video, I called it an end of a light bulb. Well, I'm not sure what it is. It just looks like an end of a light bulb here. But on this side, it looks like a crusty old penny. We'll have to crack that open tomorrow. Along with a couple other what's we got. Like this one. This is actually a, a chain of some type. Metal chain with a, with a colored pink and orange or blue string that goes over the chain. And a... Uh, wing and the wing should be gold I mean consider where it's been for so long but I can't find any uh, markings on it anything this is the money clip that was around all that money I thought it was just some meager leftover money but you can see there's a lot of money there you can see that's a $50 bill. You can see that's a $20 bill. 
you can see that's a $50 bill. I just can't, I don't know if they're all hooked together or, you know, it's, it's a two or three pieces in here. It's a, I don't know. I just don't know. Look at this piece here. That one on the back. Now, I didn't turn this one over. This one does say, I don't know what it says. I can't see it. But there, at one time, that was some heavy duty ammo in this thing. Somebody said I could probably send this in and get real money for it. I'll have to check that out. But that's a cool find, <laughs> if I must say so myself. I think the money clip, it was actually leather. I think this piece slid into a piece of leather, and this was on the outside, and your money sat underneath of it. It's like a Buddha, a god or something. These two pieces... I think these are actually what's left of the leather. The rest of it rotted away. I don't know where the other piece went. Maybe it fell on the floor or something. That makes no difference. Oh, here it is. One was on the back, one was on the front of this clip. And on the back, it says, Welcome to Donnie's Gems Quality Jewelers Factory. I googled it, but I have been unsuccessful at finding anything about Donnie's. I'm using a different camera now than I was on the original video. You can see the chain. Mixed in with the string. Maybe you can't. I can. There's my little wing foot or wing whatever that is. But that's some cool stuff, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. This is a cool hobby. Okay, that's it for the roundup. I'm not sure about tomorrow. If the weather's fit, we'll be out there for the first day of 2015. I'm going to show you John's stuff. John had a decent day at Atlanta Nada. You saw his ring and his new suit. He's only, him and I don't only once, no, he said the Nighthawk, the guy, the unknown man was down the beach today. I haven't got a report from him. I'll have to see how he made out. Stand by for Thursday, January the 1st, 2015.